If you've been in the voice space long enough, you're bound to have troubles with Tulio. What I'm about to show you is going to solve 90% of your problems, and it's the registration. I'm actually going to be registering a new Tulio account with my new business. So you can literally follow step by step exactly what I do in this tutorial in order to solve all those annoying authorization errors on make. Whether you want to send text messages or route calls internationally, the final registration is going to get approved in a few days. So the sooner you start, the better. This is a one time setup, but it's going to take about an hour of your time. So do have that time ready. Now let's figure this Tulio thing out. So always questions about how to create your Tulio account. So I'm just going to walk you step by step, create my own account and you can replicate the exact steps that I'm doing. You can log in. We're going to sign up down here. And we're just going to put our information. Password. Okay. So we do verification. Now we're going to add our phone number with our area code. This is for verification. Okay, so you just received a recovery code. Actually do place that somewhere safe. Because you're going to do a lot with your Tulio account and you don't want to lose it. <laughs> Particularly because you're going to do a business verification, which is what we're going to do right now. And you can only do that once. One business, one Tulio account. This part is essentially what is called a KYC. You know your customers, so they'll ask you some questions about your business. What do you want to do with that Tulio account? This is all to prevent any misuse of phone numbers, of calls, of text messages. This is pretty standard, but they're pretty thorough. So, you know, complete it fully and it'll actually speed up your verification of your account. Okay, so this is going to be your account. You want to keep these numbers safe, especially the auth token. I'm not going to show it. Don't show it to anybody ever. And if it does happen, then you can always um, um, redo it, but then you will lose all your integrations that you connected to you too. So just don't click show ever to anybody. Wonderful. Um, we want to go straight into upgrade. And it's going to ask us to create our customer profile. Genius. Bam. So here I'm gonna use my phone on my Mac. This is a new feature for Mac. If you don't have a Mac, it's not an issue at all. Um, you can do this from your phone. I wanted to do this so I can show you in the tutorial through my computer. So I'm filling out my business information because one of the questions I asked, I answered earlier was, hey, I have a business, it's not personal use. Then it's going to ask me all my actual business uh, information. Again, this verification is important for compliance. And you just fill it out on your phone and you come back to your computer now. Okay, so now that we inserted our business details and um, our business address, our EIN, etc., that's part of the registration. Again, your business address. You can do PayPal or you can do um, your credit card. Okay, so now I'm not exempt. We fund our account. Uh, sure. Balance goes below 10. Advance up to 20. You can do PayPal or you can do um, your credit card.
So, I kind of upgraded. Uh, let's go back to phone numbers. But what we want to do is buy a number. We're going to do US. We're going to do MMS too uh, for multimedia, for sending some pictures and stuff. Uh, we're going to go with. We do have most of our customers in New York and East Coast. Great. There we go, New York City. And let's go with simple looking one. Yeah, this one's easy to remember. Cool. So this is where it gets trickier, which is the A2P. Uh, registration so essentially business wants to contact a person and for doing campaigns and all that stuff uh, SMS campaigns so we're gonna buy the phone number great so we got a phone number now uh, we are gonna need to do the registration so right here okay initiate We're gonna put a lot of the data we already put in about our business and all that stuff, but some information about our intent for having this phone number. Okay, so let's apply. There's just some phone numbers. How do I register? Um, Sure. Onboarding page. Uh, uh, it's a uh, private, low volume. Yup. Uh, enable brand sharing with your so account. Registration fees by sharing your brand. I mean, to register ATP campaigns. Cool. Dope. So there's that. Good. Okay, lovely. Just start a to campaign. Great. Uh, low volume. So this is the point in the registration where you're actually telling Tulio and actually the organization overseeing Tulio. Uh, what you're going to use this uh, campaign for. The campaign has one use case. In my case, is uh, confirmation of appointments through SMS, uh, through a Calendly, which I'm about to pull up. And hey, these are some sample messages that we might send. So as you see, it's very specific. It has to be one campaign, one use case, uh, but it won't take as long the next time you do this for another campaign, another use case. choose a time and then you know put a phone number and accept to receiving text messages so I explained that in the text and users consent to receive the text messages um, it's very clear you put something too generic you might actually get your registration denied and you don't want to do it because it just delays you can do it again but it just delays it a lot so put some thought into this and this is kind of why it's time consuming to do this. But I'm glad that you're watching this tutorial so you can just follow along. Now we're gonna select a phone number associated with this campaign. If you have more than one phone number, you can choose to register more than one phone number. Uh, again, the sub following times that you do this process is going to be much faster and 80% is already going to be done. Then you will just choose the phone number or phone numbers that you uh, bought already and you register. Yep. Great. And uh, we should be done. All we have to do now is wait. Um, now under review, it may take several days. Okay, cool. 
We have a lot more voice content coming, so subscribe and stay tuned. And remember, never stop prompting.